As the analog sticks return to the center of the controller and the rocket fuel evaporates over the air at Champions Field, for the third consecutive year, Mother, the father, the OG, the pioneer of our local Rocket League scene, won his third consecutive VS Gaming title. The only South African pro to be a part of the winning team at every single VS tournament. There is no doubt Christian Mother Massain's success is equally accredited to the master teams he's been a part of. But there's something fabled, almost mythical, about one player winning four national titles in three different teams. Mother and Pirates XD are fresh off their VS Gaming 2019 win over VE Serpents. Snowy looking to and bump there and it there is. we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, your champions for 2019 again, XD Gaming. An absolute show of power over the best of the best, losing only two games the entire tournament. How did it start? And how has one player dominated esports Rocket League in South Africa for four years? To understand Mother's remarkable feat, we need to go back to the beginning. Initially, Mother and a few of his high school friends, names you might recognize, One Perry and Casca Seven, both of whom have VS Gaming titles to their names, started playing a game that exploded internationally. This narrative, which has played out in so many success stories, the group of friends doing something they love passionately and endlessly whilst naturally progressing until they're gods. Like Kuxa to an air ball, the game just made sense to Mother and his mates. Evolving rapidly at recently discovered mechanics and rotational play strategies, Mother, as his family recalls, would spend hours every day and often throughout the night grinding to improve level and rank. The Rocket League scene in South Africa was in its infancy with pioneers like One Perry, Alturism and Nianfo advancing aerials, flicks, dribbles and power shots. As Rocket League attracted more local players, Telcom jumped on the proverbial bandwagon and the first cup was organized. The pre-season cup in 2016. This was interesting as Mother did not enter with his gang of pals but joined White Rabbit Gaming alongside Nianfo and Alturism. Needless to say, they won the tourney comfortably. This strategic movement would become a recurring theme in Mother's career. It was only after the announcement of VS Gaming's first tournament that Mother rejoined his childhood friends to form OK Danger Kids, most probably one of the most exciting Rocket League teams to watch. Explosive play with never-before-seen goals, an exciting period for Rocket League in South Africa was born. Mother recalls those early days as pivotal to his progression, as he almost exclusively played Rocket League in between juggling his studies and work. He dedicated enormous amounts of time improving his skills and finally in 2018 achieved GC, Grand Champion. One of the first Grand Champs in South Africa. And as we all know, with an average 200 ping, that is no easy task. During 2018, Mother also strategically put a new team together under the guise of XD, joined by Snowy and Noclip to form an unstoppable trio. They dominated preseason play in local land tournaments comfortably and won the VS Gaming title of the same year. Their dedication to understanding and perfecting competition esports style of play versus the popular dedication to improving freestyle mechanics no doubt played a huge part in their success. Mother often speaks of the differences in high level tournament play with regards to reading ball movement. Knowing that team play and decisiveness in comparison to spending hours trying to perfect a flip reset is the only way to go. This unlocked major possibilities for the team as new member CP Zebra, replacing Noclip and Snowy went to Europe to compete. We even saw Snowy on Johnny Boy's channel play against the likes of Joriez. Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. It's uh, EU versus South Africa. We've got Snowy from South Africa, probably the best 1v1 player from South Africa and indeed mainland Africa, at least that I know of. Uh, he, he's visiting the UK right now and while he's here, 
with uh, decided to get him on stream. He's actually ranked up pretty high in the 1v1 leaderboard. I don't know what he peaked at, but right now he's 17th. Interestingly and unfortunately enough, Mother was not able to join them due to work commitments and decided to stay in South Africa and grind it out here. This phenomenal twist in the tail speaks volumes about his progression. As Snowy and Zebra return from Europe with incredible new knowledge and an unparalleled skill set to boot, Mother surprisingly was able to remain on par. We all know the rest of the story. 2019 VS Gaming Tournament came and went and Mother won his third VS Gaming title. To stay unbeaten on the highest level over such a long period is an incredible achievement. One we might never see again. But what we often forget is how well Mother navigated Rocket League behind the scenes. Identifying up and coming local players, grooming them and then developing unstoppable teams, identifying brand opportunities and engaging with organizations and sponsors to support his and their dreams. With all this said and done, as the crowd starts to quieten down, the music fading into the background and the octane returning to the garage, we ask ourselves, why? What is the message? The message is simple. To anyone sitting in your room late at night, the low light of the moon illuminating your monitor, everyone is asleep and you're grinding away at ranked, feeling that you're never going to get there. You're wrong. Go for it. Dreams happen. And this game changes lives. This is Rocket League.